<laughs> well, I gotta say, after three months of not being able to get on the internet, all I can say to that is... No internet, and no uploading, makes Dylan a dull, dull boy. Fuck, it's good to be back. Oh my god, that was annoying. So, I had a virus on my computer, and could not get it fixed until just now. So, that was fucking great. Yeah, always wonderful. I'm already gonna get demonetized for this video just because of that, so fuck it. I don't even give a shit anymore. Um, I have a few things to talk about. Some of them you might like, some of them you definitely won't. But these are things that need to be talked about, and thanks to the uh, involuntary hiatus that I had to just take, I will be able to reflect on those things clearly, more clearly than I would have in the past few months before I came to this conclusion in my head. Now, this is a video that I honestly never thought I'd be making. Like, seriously, I mean, I thought I would just do this forever and that would just be that, but... I don't know, maybe there was always a part of me that thought that that wasn't true, or that maybe we would do more than just this, and I think that's kind of the part of me that's pulling at my brain now, as I'm starting to realize so many other things that I can do, and that I'm capable of, and I'd rather not limit myself. So, I'll just cut straight to the point. I am... Stopping narrations. Now, I know how that sounds already, but hear me out, because it's not permanent and it's not complete either. I'm not completely going to rebrand myself and start doing only uh, different things and never bring the narrations back. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to severely, severely reduce the amount of narrations that I do. Um, they will be more of a special kind of thing, more of a series of their own, kind of maybe uh, once every whatever I decide. And that'll be that. I will not be doing narrations as my primary content anymore, is basically the gist of what I'm trying to get at. I would like to branch out to other forms of content that do not rely on narration for me to get them done. And uh, I would also like to start doing more real things, more commentary-like things, more review-type things. I enjoy that stuff much more and I'm much more natural whenever I'm doing those types of things than I am with my narrations. And to be completely honest, the narrations were only ever a coping mechanism for me and that they are not even anymore because now my coping mechanism would be my book. And that brings me to my second point. I have decided that this change will not go into effect immediately, but will go into effect shortly following the completion of the Madness in Wonderland series on my channel, which means that this will probably not take into effect until either the end of this year or the end of next year. Because it will take me at least that long just to finish the book and then get all the stuff out to the, to the narrators in time. And they've all, I've already informed everybody in the cast of that. Uh, they've wished me well, and I am extremely thankful for all of them. They will all be getting a personal letter from me, uh, thanking them for their participation individually, no matter how long they've been on, or how long they've been a part of the project, or how little or how much they have done. 
it does not matter to me. It's all part of the same goal, and it has all come together in such a way that is really beautiful in my eyes and could really make me cry the more I think about it. Um, it it's hard for me to say all this. I mean, I know that I said I would never stop doing them, and I, I am keeping true to that promise, just not in the same way that uh, somebody else might. Um, I have come to the conclusion, and it's through a lot of thought, that there are things that I've held on to, most of my past channel being a huge part of it, that I really just need to let go of, and that's going to be the only way that I can move on in my life with a lot of things, and some of these stories that I've done, I, I have to be honest, they have memories behind them that I would much rather like to leave in the past, not because they're bad, just because they are hard to remember, and there are a lot of these stories I remember doing at a time when it was just something that I needed, and uh, and it was there for me when I needed it, and it's still there for me now. But I feel like there is just so much that, so much of that pain and and uh, things that I haven't dealt with that are still wrapped up in doing that and those stories, and that's why I've come to the conclusion that it needs to not be the primary source of what I'm doing on here. More of like a nostalgic thing that I can look back on every once in a while and do and come back to. Um, but yeah, that's what I've come to my conclusion of. And uh, in doing that, I would like to say that the channel will most certainly continue as it always has a spirit self. Um, I will just be doing more. I'll be doing different things on it. I'll be doing music. I'll be doing... Uh, commentary stuff. Uh, I'm going to figure out how to get some more equipment and figure out what I can do with uh, different videos. And we're going to do, we're going to have fun. We're going to make it different and uh, unique. And it will be, it will be different. Yes, it will be, but it's going to be, it's going to be better this way. And I know that. And I feel that. And in saying that, I have to say thank you to all of you who have stuck by me just for this for this long and for all of the support I have received over the years. It's just immeasurable how much it's done for me and my confidence as a person and how I talk to people. It's just, I mean, I am not a confident person by nature and boy, I just... There are so many things that this this channel and people online have helped me to understand about myself and, of course, about about the internet and the world and things that uh, that are going on. And uh, so, in saying that, I would like to announce that after or when I do begin this this uh, this thing, I, what I'm going to be doing is. I'm not just going to be uploading Madness in Wonderland for until the book is over, try and get it out and be done with narrations. That's not what I want to do. I want to give a really good send-off to this extremely important part of my life to me. And in doing that, what I'm going to propose is I will be doing for the year that is leading up to the completion of Madness in Wonderland what will be called the final year of fear. And uh, what I'm going to do in that is I am going to go through every single story that I have ever listened to. Not necessarily new ones because I might not. I, <laughs> I don't have the time to listen to all these new stories. And to be completely honest, I don't think I've listened to a new creepypasta in probably at least a year. I'm not shitting you. I have not listened to one in a year that's new. I've just, I mean, there's so many of them that I did listen to already. I could name you hundreds and hundreds of stories 
And that's that. That's why I kind of thought to myself, I was like, well, not necessarily going through anything new unless it's suggested to me specifically, but I'm going to go through every single story that I have ever listened to, including ones that I've done and redone, and I'm going to be doing what is called the final year of fear. I will be going back through. I will narrate new, excuse me, new stories that I have not yet that fall under this son of a bitch that fall under this favorites category. And then I will also be redoing old ones that I may not have already redone or possibly ones that I would like to do one final rendition of just for shits and giggles. It's my channel. I can upload it as many times as I want so long as it's not the exact same video, which it never is. So I will be remastering a few things. Um, of course, you can expect to see classics like Dear Abby. I know I've redone that one to hell and back, but still... I would love to do that one one final time. Unfortunately, bigger stories like Pin Pal will not be redone as I did just redo that one. And that one in particular is a special exception in that not only is it a two and a half hour video, but it is also a redo that um, was more genuine a uh, read than I can ever give back to you again. That was not me uh, acting. That was just me reading off a pain story that truly, truly hit me in the heart at the end. And the crying and the stuff at the very end of that story is 100% genuine from the heart. And that is me. And uh, it is a very touching story. And it does does very much make me cry every time I read it. And I do not want to put myself through that again, unfortunately. Uh, that is not what I need right now in my life. Uh, so, you can expect to see things like Dear Abby, um, of course. Uh, I just did a favor for a favor and picture this, so I'm going to leave those two out. But I will be doing things like the Cool Blue Spring um, let me think. There's a few others that, that I know of. Uh, Voices in the Spirit Box is one that I will definitely be redoing. Um, even though, I mean, I absolutely love the rendition I did with Lucky, I will, I will be redoing that one because I do absolutely love the story. And, uh, I feel like I could bring, uh, some stuff back into it. I will... I don't really, this was kind of stupid of me to come into this naming off stories, not really having a list of what I was going to do, but I will definitely get back with you all on that. Uh, I will make a list. I'll probably do another video where I can list off everything that will be featured in that Year of Fear special. And it will be, it will act as the send-off to the, uh, to the main proportion of my channel as a, as a narrating channel and uh, we will we will transition into something newer together and I believe that it will be extremely fun and there's a lot of things we can do with it I considered even branching off into some gaming on here to because uh, I have I already ah, son of a fuck cut already have the equipment for it some of it and so i was i was you know thinking about doing that anyway um so yeah um that's what i wanted to say to you all i know maybe this wasn't the update that you were hoping for or wanting to hear today uh or ever from me but this is this is what's going to happen i've made my decision and I will not be changing my mind on this. Um, because, honestly, I mean, whenever I think about it, this book, it needs to be the end of of the narrating. It needs to be the end of, of not fear itself, but of this side of fear itself. This, this uh, era, you might say. These past seven years, I mean, they've just been... Uh, Gosh, they've been amazing for me. I've loved every second of them, don't get me wrong, but 
as I said, there's so much of this channel that's ingrained in the past and things that I much rather would like to let go of than keep alive. Um, and that's something I've just come to realize is some things just, they just need to die. They need to die to be reborn. And so this part of the channel is going to die so that I can bring in a new part. And uh, that new part will then seem fresh and it will seem from the heart and genuine. And we can find a new inspiration for the channel rather than me just using this to vent all my frustration and anger and sadness and depression and anxiety and all those crazy, disgusting, nasty thoughts that I just don't want rattling around in my head every day, every hour. So, thank you all for understanding and uh, for all of the support, all the years that we've been together. It's been truly, truly amazing. And I know every YouTuber says that, but they can go fuck themselves, because I've actually really, really loved it. And uh, even for the small following that I was that I've been able to accrue in the last few years. It still blows my mind. I can't even imagine 2,700 people. Uh, it's just, that's impossible for me to even imagine. I'm from a fucking small town where the most people I think I've seen at a time, other than in a stadium, is like 200, maybe. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I am truly honored by that, to, to think that that many people have even listen to me even if they don't constantly do it it doesn't matter i get to say i got there <laughs> so thank you all madness in wonderland chapter 13 will be the next video up uh, it will be up on monday i have to assemble it now that i have my internet back and oh oh by the way i have a new job i've been uh I work at Raising Canes, and uh, let me just say, they are the best. I love them. So, anyways, I will be working late every night until Monday. So that's why Monday will be my day off. I will go ahead and assemble everything. I already have all the lines. I've just been waiting for my computer to stop being a fucktard. So now, I will assemble that, and I will have it up on Monday. Thank you all so much for understanding this. Um, oh, happy 2020, everybody. Yeah, I didn't get to make a 2020 video because my fucking internet was down. So, yeah, that was very annoying. It was annoying to not be able to do Creepy Christmas, too. But we can make that up because I still have all the stories and we'll just do it this year. Ha ha ha! crazy in here. Uh, just a little bit. The fuck are you talking about? You were already crazy. Yeah, of course we were crazy. They already know we were crazy. Oh, we kind of patched things out a little bit. We're a little bit working in unity, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, we don't really have another... We don't really have two voices anymore. It's just kind of one consistent one where we can talk back and forth now ah oh, that's something else that i'd like to say yes we did we ah, we worked it out just like an old married couple i'd never marry you i'd never marry you <laughs> and that's why we're perfect for each other <laughs> okay enough about me talking to myself that's not what you want to hear on camera so ciao babies <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. Everybody, have a wonderful day. Fuck, why am I so weird?